The Mummification Process by Anna D. and Sydney L. In ancient Egypt, they believed in life after death. When someone died, they headed west. They believed west was the land of the dead. It was thought that when someone died, they needed their bodies in the afterlife. They preserved their bodies for the afterlife, afterlife using a 70-day process called embalming. They were able to do this with mummification. Anubis was the god of embalming. First, the brain was removed through the nose using a hook. The brain was thrown out because they didn't think it was needed. Then the embalmers cut into the left side of the body and pulled out the intestines, stomach, liver, and lungs. They were each put into specific canopic yeah, jars. The intestines went in a jar with a falcon-headed god, the stomach in a jar with a jackal-headed god, the liver in a jar with a human-headed god, and the lungs in a jar with a baboon-headed god. Next, all the liquids were drained out of the body, and the body was stuffed with natron for 40 days. Natron is a moisture-absorbing salt. Natron is piled into the body. After 40 days, the natron is removed from the body and in it. The body is stuffed with linen to make it look larger. Next, the body is covered with resin to preserve it and harden the skin. The body is then fully wrapped in linen and amulets are placed on the, on the body. The Ujat amulet represents good health and is placed over the lower abdomen. The heart amulet used to protect, protect the heart in the afterlife was placed over the heart. The scarab symbolizing rebirth and the rising of the sun was placed over the upper abdomen and the dejet pillar with symbolized stability and the god Osiris was placed in the neck area. The body was wrapped a final time in linen. Lastly, a mummy's mask was placed on the body and the mummy was placed in a mummy case and then into a sarcophagus. The eye of Horus was painted on the side of the sarcophagus so they could see the coffin wall forever. This is a drawing of a sarcophagus. This is the eye of Horus, and this is what the wrapping somewhat looks like. 